How is time related to Newton's second law? According to Newton's second law, acceleration is produced when a force acts on a mass. The greater the mass of the object being accelerated, the greater the amount of force needed to accelerate that object. So if we have a car, it's going to take a greater amount of force to move it a certain distance versus a small little soccer ball. And the second law gives us an exact relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. And that can be expressed as a mathematical equation, force equals mass times acceleration. You also know that acceleration equals the change in velocity over the change of time. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute oh, come on, the delta V over delta T over with this A. So we're going to get force equals mass times the change in velocity over change in time. Now we're going to move the time from the right side over to the left side. And so what we're going to do is times both sides by delta T over 1. And what's going to happen on the right side is the T's are going to cancel out. So our equation is going to be force times a change of time equals mass times a change in velocity. This right here is impulse. And the units are newtons per second.